Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball of BYU Hawaii. We are now on to pivot table number two. This is AI2. We will be using the product sales data worksheet. And in this pivot table, we are trying to create the total sales by product and category. So we want to have product first, and then category would be a subset showing all the different sales of each product in each category. So let's switch over, Alt-Tab to my Excel workbook. We'll do insert pivot table. The range has already been selected. That's good. So we want to bring on, uh, we'll, we'll bring on category first. And then to get product to be a subset of category, we want to bring it to the right side. You see this gray line over here? If I bring it to the far left, it would be a list of products and then their respective category. If I bring it to the right of category, it'll be category with their respective products. So I want it to the right, and so what that's done, you have the category, and then you have all the subsets, which are the different products. And we want to know the dollar values of those different sales, so we're going to drag and drop that down here to values. And as you can see here, this is sum of sales. And you'll learn how to change that. You can double click this, sum of sales, and you can uh, change the value field settings uh, I'll show you that later on, but um, once again, you can take some time to beautify this, but that's all there is to this particular pivot table report. We'll change the name. This is A double I, and this is um, product sales by category. So I hope that's a good enough name for that one. Sales by product and category. So product sales, we'll say this, sales by prod and category. Okay, good. That's it. Let's move on.